contrast to a lot of people at Argonne who work in physical sciences that are called the hard sciences, um, I work in the social sciences, which are called the difficult ones. The things that we study are complex adaptive systems because they change as the components of them move forward through time, and so we have to address that with uh, high-powered simulation modeling. Real-world applications of the research um, can really vary widely. Um, the kind of modeling that I'm talking about is applicable to lots and lots of different situations. We're working on, on models that um, explore how diseases can spread through um, a city. Um, we're looking in particular at Chicago, because we're located here. Um, and we can create a virtual Chicago with all of its um, millions of people moving about their daily activities um, and we can ask how would a disease spread through this population if it has these characteristics and is spread in these ways um, and we can uh, help emergency responders design the way they would react to different kinds of, of problems. Argonne is not only building these models, but we're also building the software toolkits that are used to build the models. Um, and I was able to contribute very heavily to the high performance computing version of our toolkit. All of that is open source, all of that is, is put out to the whole world to use. Um, and that's, that's another great thing about working here that um, is perhaps missing from a corporate environment. Somebody asked me why did I go to graduate school in anthropology and the answer then was because I can't not do it. Because it's a way to understand the world that you don't get anywhere else. Um, that's still true. Um, it's still um, part of what drives me. Um, when the work is done right, it gives a way to understand a piece of, of the planet, a piece of human activities on the planet, um, and a new way to understand how the world works that you just can't get anywhere else, and that's why.